Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the design of the RCC column. So this is the problem given to us and we are going to design this column. The design of 18 cross 18 inches column. This is given to us that the dimensions are 18 and 18. This is a square column. And design a square 18 cross 18 tight column, right? For a affected axial compressive load of 300 kips where the demand is 300 kips coming on this column and the strength the concrete strength is 3 ksi and the steel yield is 40 grit steel or 40 ksi so we are going to design this column for this load so as we know that this is a tight column it's not a spiral column not a circular column so we will use the tight column properties right so to start the designing of the column, first we should know the formula of the, of the strength of the column. As we know that the nominal strength of the column is a formula of 0 0.80 with a phi strength reduction factor and bracket 0 0.85, then Fc prime, then area of gross minus area of the steel, then adding the area of the steel with the multiplying it with the grade of the steel so we will get the strength of this concrete column now what is phi there is a strength reduction factor and i have given the link in the description you can watch the video uh, my video on the uh, strength reduction factor there is a strength reduction factor used for uh, each type of column for the tight column we have phi value is known to us that it is 0.65 while for the spiral column for the circular column the phi value is 0.75 in this example we are given the tight column so we will use this phi not the, this one right so what you, then again bracket 0.85 fc fc prime is the concrete strength we will use this ag bracket ag ag means the area of the car area gross area this area of the concrete which is 18 into 18 inches it comes out to be 324 inches square right then minus as as is unknown to us area of the steel we are going to design this and then break it close and then adding the area of the steel with the grade of the steel which is 40 ksi then closing the whole bracket we will get the strength of the concrete column so now let's start the designing of this column so this is the equation of the nominal strength of the concrete column of the tight concrete column so all values are known to us this is known to us this is known to us these all values are known to us except this value area of the steel this is these values are unknown to us so we are going the first step in the designing of the tight column is we will assume the area of the steel so let that the area of the steel let assume that the area of the steel is one person of the area of the column 1 person means 1 dividing by 100 into the area of the gross area of the concrete is 324. It's just an assumption that we are going to use the 1 person of the area of the concrete. We can use 1 person up to 8 percent. Right? So we can use uh, in between these. So let's in this example we take the 1 person of the concrete area. So it comes out to be 0 0.01 into, 3 point, into 324 which comes out to be 3.24 inch square. It means that the area of steel is also now known to us, which is, which comes out to be 3.24. This is the area of the steel in inch square, right? It is not seen in the video. It is area of the steel in inch square. So now we will put all the values in this equation. So we will get the uh, strength of this column whether it is greater than the demand or less than the demand so now let's start by putting the all values so 5 pn the concrete strength is equal to the 0 0.80 it is known to us the phi is 0.65 as i discussed with you 0.85 again and then multiplying with the concrete strength 3 ksi 3 again bracket area of the gross area of the concrete is 324 then minus area of the steel which is we found let assume that it comes out to be 3.24 close bracket and then adding again area of the steel is 3.24 and the grade of the steel is 40 40 so closing 
the whole bracket, right? This whole bracket. So by doing the calculation, we will get our answer. 5 pn comes out to be, after calculating this, our answer comes out to be 492 kips. Kilo pound, which is, this is the strength of this tight concrete. This formula is used for the strength of the tight concrete. Tight, tight concrete column. So this tight concrete column strength is greater than the demand which is compressor load, factor load was 300. So this was greater than the 300 kips, kilo pound. So it means our column area is okay. This reinforcement that we assume that it is one person of the concrete area, so it is okay. So because it gives us the strength more than 300 kips. So we are not going to take the more reinforcement area like 2% or 3%. But one person, which is the minimum requirement, is fine to design this column. Now, as we get the, the 5 pn, which was a 492, uh, was greater than the demand, which was pu equal to the ultimate demand was 300 kips. So it means our column was well designed, and the assumed area, which was 3. Point, which sorry, which was 0 0.01 of the gross area of the concrete was 3.24. So this area is fine to use in this column. So now how to find the number of bars? Uh, now, let's suppose uh, that uh, we use the number 6 bar, right? Number 6 bar we are using in this column. So, so number 6 bar area is known to us. Area of the bar is 0.44 inches square. This area of the each bar is known to us in the table. You should remember this table. Number 4, number 3, number 6, 8, and 11. We know the each number of bar is area is known to us. You can see in the table. Now, we know that the area of the six number bar is 0.44 inch square. So to find the total number of bars in this column, number of bars can be found out by dividing the area of the steel, which is 3.24, dividing by the area of the bar, which we want. Uh, we want six number bar. So area of steel is 3.24, and the area of the bar here is 0.44. So we comes out to be 7.4. So we will round off and we will take 8 number of bars. So the number of bars in this column are 8. So we are going to use 8 in which number of bar? 6 number bar. We will use this number of bars in this column. So we will place like in this way. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which is the symmetric ratio. So now this is our design column. So these were the all steps how to design the RCC column. Now we don't know how to design the stirrups or tie bar for the column. Now come to discuss the tie bar. This was the main bars, right? We placed the number of bars and these were the main bars. Now we are going to discuss the tie bars. Main bars or longitudinal bars. Now let's to design the tie bar for this column. Ties means the stirrups we use in the beam. In the tie, we use the, uh, in the column, we use the tie bar. So, to design the tie bar, let's suppose that assume the number 3 bar to use in the tie, right? So, to, to know about it, how much spacing will be required in the tie bars, like for example, there's the column in the 3D view, you can see. So, we are, we are going to design these bars. These are known as the tie bars, right? Are the stirrups. So we should note this distance between these tie bar. How much this spacing should be? So this is the design of the tie bar. So there are three formulas with us. And from these formulas, the least answer will be chosen is the spacing between these two bar. Right? The least value from these three will be chosen is the spacing between these two bar. So the first formula is 16 into diameter of the longitudinal bars. 16 into diameter of the longitudinal bar, the diameter of the main bar. As we use number 6 bar, so we are known that the number 6 bar diameter is known to us, it is 0.75. So by multiplying this, we get 12 inches. Now the second formula is 48 into diameter of the tie bar. 48 into diameter of the tie bar, we assume that the tie bar is number 3 bar, and number 3 bar diameter is known to us, which is 0.375. So it comes out to be 18 inches. And the number third formula is the smallest, smallest dimension of the column. 
of the column. Smallest dimension of the column is 18 into 18. So both are same. So these are equal to the 18 inches. So smallest of these values, there are three formulas. So 12 inches, 18 inches, and 18 inches. The smallest one is 12 inches, right? So we will use the spacing of 12 inches in the column for the design of the tie bar. So we will use the number three by tie bar, number three tie bar, but the spacing of this bar should be must equal to the 12 inches, which comes out after the design of the column for the tie bar. So this was all about the design of the RC column for the uni Excel uh, tied column with a factored load of 300 kips and the properties of the concrete were 3 KSI and 50, 40 KSI yield strength of the steel. So uh, I designed the column for both the loading uh, and the, as well as for the uh, tie bar. So this was all about the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.